Hello my fellow researchers and welcome to another video in this video series called SPSS is fun. My name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to create histograms and variations of histograms using the chart builder function. Now SPSS is great because there's a number of ways of creating graphs and charts and tables but in this video I'm focusing on the chart builder function and you can see it right here chart builder. But before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have your variable characteristics filled in. Okay, so in this case, you can see I have two variables, sex and age. Sex is our nominal variable, age is our continuous variable, and in here it's identified as a, a scale. And for, for our sex, we have uh, males as one and females as two. And so everything looks good. We're going to start making some frequency distribution graphs and maybe uh, see uh, differences between males and females uh, with respect to age. So click on graphs and chart builder. Now this box uh, will appear. It's just basically telling you that you should make sure that you have your variable characteristics filled in before you actually try and make any graphs. So I've done that. We're going to click on OK. Uh, don't show me this dialog again. Okay, great. Now, here is uh, the window that pops up for the chart builder function, and I want to direct your attention down here. We're going to deal with histograms. So when I click on histogram, it gives me four options. Okay, now the first one is a simple histogram. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just drag that one in there. And now we have our, 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 our template or we have our simple histogram uh, outline and I'm just going to throw in our variable. So here we have age and I'm just going to throw age into the x-axis, okay, because we're going to be doing a frequency distribution. And it's that easy. I'm just going to hit OK. And now we have our simple histogram uh, with age, okay, so our frequency distribution histogram. Let's try the other one, graphs chart builder. I'm just going to throw in the stacked histogram. Now the stacked histogram allows you to, to put uh, say two, uh, two categories or three categories or, or more uh, stacked on top of each other. So again we have age as our, our distribution variable and I'm going to throw sex as our, our stack variable or the variable that's going to determine you know what, what blue is, what green is. Um, let me hit OK and see what happens. Now we have males are blue, males are stacked on top of females, females are green. This is not particularly useful, uh, a particularly useful way to present this particular set of data, um, but at least you know what it looks like now. Let's try the third option. Okay, our third option is our polygon. Here's our polygon. I'm going to throw our polygon in there. Lovely. Let's hit OK and see what happens. Okay, here's our polygon. Now the polygon is pretty much the same as the, the histogram, the, only, the, the simple histogram. The only difference is that here we have a line, we have a line basically, and, and in, in the simple histogram we have individual bars. Um, so this is probably a little bit less common uh, in statistics, but again you're going to see it uh, quite a lot, so important to, to know how to make that. Let's Let's check out our next option, Graphs Chart Builder. Here we have our pyramid. Let me throw in our, our pyramid here. What this is going to do is it's similar to the stacked option. Um, in this case, we're going to have males on one side and females on the other side for our, our split variable. So I'm going to drag sex into our split variable right there. I'm going to throw age into the distribution variable. I'm going to hit OK. And again, now you can see here we have males on the left, females on the right, and so you can compare the, the age distribution of males and females uh, in a horizontal manner. Okay, so now that you've seen all four of the different types of, of histograms, uh, we're going to look at a few ways of modifying them. So I'm going to hit uh, basic elements here, and you'll see this transpose button right here. Right now it's blanked out because uh, for this particular um, uh, histogram, uh, the function is, is, well, meaningless. Let me throw in the simple histogram there, okay? I'm going to go back to basic elements. And if I hit transpose, it's just going to flip it. The x-axis becomes the y-axis. The y-axis becomes the x-axis in this case. So that's cool. Now if I hit OK, or let me just throw age here, right? Now if I hit OK, 
I have my simple histogram, but it's just it's just now it's it, it's transposed. So um, that's that's cool if you like to look at graphs like this. Some people prefer looking at graphs uh, in in this manner rather than rather than having all these bars vertically. All right, let's check out another function. That's our transpose function. Let me transpose it back to normal. Okay. Now we have our, our titles and our footnotes. So we have you can have two t two main titles and then a subtitle and then you can have two footnotes. And when you click on all of these, they're going to appear up in this element properties uh, a tab. So if I click on title one there, now I can type it in. This is title one, and then hit apply. Okay. Now I'm going to click on title two. This is title two. I'm going to hit apply. Subtitle, again, same thing. This is the subtitle. Hit apply. Footnote one, I'm just going to type in footnote one. Apply, and then footnote two, I'm just going to type in footnote two with a smiley face. And I'm going to hit apply. Now, let's see if that even worked. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to use our same, our same uh, graph that we just uh, presented. Hitting OK, and now you can see, okay, this is title one, this is title two, this is the subtitle, and then here's our footnote one and footnote two with my little smiley face right there. Okay, so if you want to edit the titles of your graphs for, if you say you're going to put them in Word or something, then that's, that's a great option. Back to Chart Builder. Now the one thing that is, is awesome is this display normal curve right here. So I'm going to hit display normal curve. And again, you know what a normal distribution is. I'm going to hit apply there. It's going to throw our normal distribution curve on top of our histogram. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. See, now you can see the normal curve. So you can basically visually judge, is your data normal or not? Now the last thing I'm going to show you here is under the uh, groups point ID tab and you have rows panel variable and you have columns panel variable rows panel variable I'll show you what that does right now I'm going to throw sex into the panel section that panel section just showed up and you can see now the two graphs males and females will be uh, on top of each other All right so here's males on top and females underneath so now you can visually compare I'm going to go back now to chart builder Let's do, instead of rows panel variable, let's do columns panel variable. And again, I'm going to throw sex in that panel box. And OK. Now we have them side by side. Maybe you want to compare them uh, one above the other. Maybe you want to compare them side by side. Depending on your variable, that's up to you. Chart builder. The final thing is the grouping stacking variable. And that's, this is actually the same as, let me click on gallery here. It's actually the same as this stacked histogram okay but it's going to just basically allow you to uh, let me throw sex in here into the stack color section i'm going to hit okay and this is what we get and this is exactly the same as the one that we had made previously just using the the sort of uh, histogram type function so that's it for histograms those are the four main histograms and those are ways of, of modifying them or making them look different or adding a normal curve etc if you have any questions about that please feel free to send me a message and thank you for watching stay tuned for my next video in this video series cheers